What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today it is time for Heels Deals of the Week. A lot's been going on in the Heel Cave. Reorganized the retail wall. Put the retros on top. But what we're here for is what did I get this week and we got some cool stuff. First up, we're going to check out this awesome Elite 82 Jerry the King Lawler. Um, this figure is absolutely beautiful. Uh, love the cape, love the crown. It's very reminiscent of the Jax BCA crown that came with Brian Christopher and Jerry Lawler. Awesome figure. Um, the only thing, as we all know, we all hate that certified authentic, uh, little badge of honor there because how many bootleg, uh, elites are there going around in, uh, the States, maybe in China, but not so much over here, right? But uh, let's read it off. It says, Jerry the King Lawler from Memphis, Tennessee, 243 pounds, 6 foot. I love that it says this. It says, career highlights, AWA world champion. I don't think any other figure has had AWA listed on the back of their box in the copy. I could be wrong. I do have a lot of elites, and I don't ever remember seeing that. But it's possible that maybe it was on his other elites or somebody else's. Uh, WWE Hall of Fame inductee. Throughout the new generation, the King provided color commentary on Raw and clashed with legends like Brett the Hitman Hart and Rowdy Roddy Piper inside the ring. Obviously, we know that Keith Lee has two figures in this set, Chase and Standard. They got Finn Balor, John Morrison, his first figure back, um, his first elite back on the uh, main roster. Alexa Bliss, Rob Gronkowski, and the uh, Chase figure is, I believe... Mr. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Michael Hayes, I believe. Or is this is this the one with uh, May Young? I'm not sure. I can't keep track anymore. We're moving so fast through the years, guys. And uh, next up, we got this Chella Toys official Wrestling Megastar Series One, the real world champion Nick Aldis. Uh, very cool figure. My biggest gripe with this was that he does not fit in the ringside retro slash hasbro defenders the card is just slightly bigger than hasbros and retros and when i mean slightly i mean by like a fraction of an inch and it's very disappointing i wish it was the exact same size because it would just look perfect in the defender on my personal beliefs otherwise he's just going to kind of be hanging because this isn't the type of figure that you open i'm hoping that they fix these size dimensions for future series, obviously they got the Mind Mini two pack. Hoping that that will fit in the acrylic Hasbro cases that I've been using from the guys over at Hasbro's on the Facebook group. Um, what else did we get? Got this. Guess who that is? Too late. It's the Giant from WCW. This was actually a coin bank. Some people believe that these were koozies, and they definitely can be used as a koozie for your drink. I tried it. Cans do fit in there, but um, it's actually a coin bank. Uh, there used to be a little thing on top to put the coin in. Not too upset that it's missing. I just like the, uh, the weirdness of the heads. And to go along with that, to match my Luger and Giant, we got Big Sexy Kevin Nash. I love that they included his little flesh colored mole right there really cool um i kind of want to get all of these coin banks but only time will tell if i actually do that uh, next up we got some funko pops in and first up we have fezzik from the princess bride and uh it's funny i actually posted this that i got this and people kept correcting me that's not fezzik that's andre the giant andre the giant played Fezzik in the movie it's it's from the movie Princess Bride yes it's Andre the Giant but it's of his character Fezzik in the movie um which is why I refer to it as Fezzik and not Andre the Giant but cool pop he comes with a boulder in his hand great detail on the attire look at the coloring on the pants his boots very very cool very similar um head to his Andre the Giant pop just slightly slightly different variations uh but i do love it i love that it's just a little bit bigger and i'll show you how much bigger it is in regular pops because we also got in the new wwe amazon exclusive i already opened it up boneyard undertaker 
Now, initially, I was like, ah, it's cool, you know, it's The Undertaker, but this is actually my favorite Undertaker pop to date. First of all, he's got the headband on. It's awesome, right? Got his goatee. Look at the tattoos. Great detail on the tattoos, okay? The vest, the jeans, everything that he wore in this match, perfect. And then I turned it around, and he's got the braid. How awesome does that look? Even though I'm going to be displaying them facing forward it's awesome knowing that they put detail on the back because they didn't have to and he has the taker symbol very very cool um quickly jumped up to be one of my favorite pops that i own uh i'm loving the new undertaker ones the ones in the cloak the glow in the dark the regular they're so heavy that it's actually pretty awesome and uh yeah so that's not it now the other week, I got the WrestleMania 37 Elite Collection, um, as a lot of you guys saw, and I actually unboxed them. And so we saw Sean, we saw Goldberg, China Edge, but because he's a Build-A-Figure, we didn't get to take a look at Paul Ellering. Now, I love this figure, so I wanted to include this in the weekly purchases, even though it wasn't technically a weekly purchase. We didn't have it to show you guys last week, so here he is in all of his glory we got Paul, the retro head, and Rocco. I put the bald head in a baggie um, because I like retro Paul, you know? But yeah, so that's our gets for the week. Uh, I would say it's, you know, it's a light week, but it was, it was a good week overall. You know, we got Jerry Lawler in Elite 82, which I'm excited to be seeing now. Uh, Elite 81 has finally hit my Walmarts. Uh, I saw the Street Profits yesterday. I saw The Rock, but didn't pick them up because it's not really something I need. I got the Nick Aldis, which I'm excited to get the Mind of Meanie set. And we got the Koozie slash uh, Coin Banks, which are really Coin Banks, but people use them as Koozies. We got Big Sexy Kevin Nash and The Giant, as well as Andre the Giant as Fezzik from Princess Bride. And the Boneyard Match Undertaker. Really cool pieces. Very happy to add these to my collection. And uh, I'm excited for what's to come next week. Because I think we have a couple cool things on the wire to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps our channel so much. And uh, really helps us get a better algorithm and show up in the searches. So that we can expand and ultimately bring you better cameras um i don't know if you noticed but my my hand's been a lot more steady lately and that's because we were able to take money from the channel and put it towards a uh gimbal to uh keep a steady shot for you guys so not giving you a headache with all my uh bouncing around i'm still learning how to use it so i might mess up sometimes but just be patient with me we're getting there so there's jerry nash taker fezzik giant all this and Paul. So take it easy, guys. Share this channel with a friend and uh, keep coming back for more. Take it easy. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at FigHeel and at Unreleased Wrestling Figs. And you can visit the merch store at Pro Wrestling Tees and check out the Unreleased Wrestling Figure Coloring Books available now on Amazon.com, including Prime Shipping.